Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni once again coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. Very happy you could be here with us today. So um, today is Sunday. Uh, hopefully I get this up in time for you on Monday. It might be a little bit later on Monday afternoon since this is just getting edited now. It has been a crazy, crazy busy day. Not gonna lie. Um, some changes that are going to happen to the channel. As you guys know, I have been doing nine videos a week and I can't keep up that pace because it's insane. It's truly insane. So I had to figure out a compromise, a way to keep build a doodle and the way to reduce videos. I think, um, I want to keep build a doodle because I think that it's giving you guys the confidence to draw and make art for yourself. And so I wanted to keep that and I also want to keep masterclass and I want to keep creating your first altered book. So how do I make that work? Here is what is going to happen going forward. Masterclass is moving to Patreon exclusive. Creating your first altered book is going to be YouTube. Okay. So uh, Patreon has been receiving masterclass and creating your first altered book and YouTube has been receiving masterclass and creating your first altered book, changing that up. It, the schedule is too much um, and we knew that this was going to have to be reduced at some point so um, this is the point <laughs> go um, but I think it's been really an incredible um, time that we've had making all of this art but um, as we discussed last week in the live feed I think you guys are ready for me to slow down a little bit and I really appreciate your support along that line Okay, so what happens? Masterclass is going to Patreon. Creating your first altered book is going to YouTube. But I want to make sure that I give my Patreons two videos a week. Because I believe in you, and I appreciate you, and I think that you guys should have great content. And I also need to keep great content for YouTube, so how do I do that? Build a Doodle is going to stay, uh, but it's going to try to be Monday, Wednesday, on YouTube and then the Friday build video is going on Patreon and the reason for that is uh, you know that will give my Patreons a longer video and uh, you know and it will also keep the YouTube people happy because you are still getting your information if you would like to see uh, the build videos you will need to join Patreon it is becoming uh, Patreon exclusive content um, uh, Patreons are the ones that are uh, supporting my art endeavor and it is incredibly important that I receive your support. Uh, it does go right back into the channel, it goes into art supplies, and it goes into feeding Oz and I. So if you are able uh, to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. If you can't support it, I understand, um, but you know, for the cost of you know, two Starbucks coffees a, a month, under two Starbucks coffees a month. It, it would be very helpful to me if you enjoy the channel and are able to support, to, to pledge your support. It's not like you're giving me cash. I'm giving you a lot of content. Uh, plus you get everything from the beginning of my Patreon channel, which is hundreds and hundreds of images. You get templates, you get instructions, you get uh, any project that I'm working on, anything that's upcoming, um, you get color theory, you get, there's a lot of stuff over there and uh, I make it really worth your while, I promise. Okay guys, um, that's enough blah, blah, blah. And here's the video and we'll chat soon, bye. Okay artists, well, welcome to Build a Doodle. Bum, bum, bum. These are my new Arteza watercolors. I will be doing a demo on these, but I thought, uh, you know, I want to give you a good demo on them, but uh, I don't have time to sit down and do that demo right now, so I am just going to use them. Uh, I will say that uh, these colors are very nice and intense. This is the comparison that I did with the Arteza versus the Windsor Newton. And as you can see, the Arteza are very pigmented. And I didn't have exact colors to go off of, but 
these are actually quite close. Um, again, they are different names of colors even, so it's hard to get an exact um, color match. The Arteza are nicely pigmented, and um, for the cost, I think it is a great option. I will put the um, link for the Arteza watercolor set. I also have a coupon available for you, and if I can figure it out, I will, actually I probably won't on this one because I just, I don't have time. And um, anyways, let's look at the build a doodle. Doodle, doodle, doodle. All right, we're gonna work with trees. We're gonna do this super easy. We're gonna do the easy ones first. So I am gonna pull out my favorite Uniball pen. Uh, this is the Signo 207, my favorite one. I don't know if this, this one might not be the 207. Anyways, I like the Signos. So we're gonna just make this super simple. We are making a triangle with a stem and then we're putting some thingies in it and then we're just going to make a simple triangle shape not scary is it just again we're starting with loosening up our doodles getting kind of the basic form down playing with our patterns right now can you put the water circles down first? Absolutely, do whatever makes you happy. Um, this is a really wide brush. This is the water brush uh, from Arteza. I got the set of six. It's a pretty awesome tool, um, but I need a much smaller one. The set of six has three rounds and um, three of that size, so, or style, the flats. Works pretty simple, you squeeze it, water comes out. Simple. All right, uh, and the more you squeeze it, see how nice and pigmented that color is? But the more that you squeeze the brush, the more water, you know, the, the... Look at how much pigment was in that single thing. Very nice. And then we can also put more, ooh, I just got a big glob of pigment there, I can feel it. Pretty green. So, can you put your um, doodle blobs down first, the water blobs? Sure, go for it. Do whatever makes you happy. Um, I don't care. So, like here, okay, so now we could do some circles. Um, let's go ahead and make some circles. Let's make some false circle trees. Oh, circle trees. And you're making it a little bigger. Oh, yeah. And then what if you took even little different colors in there and, and a, little, a little bit more water in that. Ozzy? <whistles> Good boy. Good come. Good job. He's hanging out outside with the gate open so that he can go and explore around but I have to call him occasionally to make sure that he's coming back and that he's not too far away. So that's what that was all about. All right. So as you can see, we're just, uh, you know, playing with the colors. We can do that. Let that dry. This one's probably mostly dry. So look at how simple these basic ones are. Keep it nice and light, simple. There is nothing technical here. This is still just having fun, right? It is. Actually, we could even make those into leaves if we wanted to. So what if we took that line through there? You see how I'm just very lightly holding my pen? I'm doing that on purpose because I'm just kind of liking this light. You know, you can always do it with your um, opposite hand. I, I'm not a fan of that, but if you like it, that's, that's great. Go for what makes you happy. You, know, you can do some like little dotty things in there, right? 
So trees are not scary. Look how not scary that is. That is totally not scary. And it's effective. I mean, here we can come in with a little bit of our lighter yellow and pull that color around. Blend it out a little bit. And uh, let's blend out that red just a touch there. See what we can get it to do. Oh, I dig it. Simple, easy peasy. We're going to pull up a little bit of that color because it got pretty thick. And I want to turn the page. Um, this one's kind of fun. Let's kind of start to look, though, at the actual shape of a tree. Did you come back, Oz? Did you come back to see me? <gasps> what a good boy. What a good dog you are. Oh, such a good dog. Okay. So, let's go to, um, let me see. Do we want to go to that harder one yet? Oh, look at how cool that one is right there. I uh, dig that little swirly, swirly thingy. We're going to just do the little swirly. And it does not have to be perfect. And then they've got a little bit thicker base. Now these are kind of like nightmare before Christmas type trees. I like that feeling. All right, I'm going to do an opposite one. And then we'll come back and color those in. Um, let's see if there's some other super simple ones that we can just kind of play with here. Uh, look at this guy right there. Total tree feel, super simple. All right, we've got three fingers here. I suppose I should have like used my pen better. So if I'm being more careful with that, remember guys, keep a loose touch on your pen. Don't be grabbing onto it. Just try to keep loose with it, right? There should be no reason for your hand or your arm to hurt while you're doing this. You're just drawing. It's no different than writing your name. You know, don't clench up your hand so much that it makes everything hurt. That's just silly. That's kind of like the uh, tall cedar trees, huh? They're kind of like the Italian, uh, creepy Italian trees. See? And then we can come back and paint them in. We can, we can play with it. And why does a tree have to be green? It doesn't. A blue tree? Why, sure, it's my universe. There is no reason why not to. Bloop, bloop, bloop. These are really nice colors. And this pen is a lot of fun because you don't have to go through and continually reload it with pigment or water, you know? You just have to rinse it out in water. Uh, it, it has a lot of great things to it. Let's put some yellow ochre in here. And let's put some of this brown in there. Oh, that's a pretty brown. And let's put some red in this one. You bet. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll come back in here and grab some yellow for this guy. Why? Because yellow's happy. And let's bring a little bit of orange in that. Oh, yes. Just to let it kind of sploosh around. Let it sploosh. Let it sploosh. Okay. This one we're going to make totally orange, I guess. And if we want to add more water, it really can thin it down, make it play nice and fun. Bring it in here, bring in some yellows. Let's bring in some reds. Oh, making some nice fall trees. Oh, since it got that red into that trunk, we're going to go into there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And oh, we're going to make a pink tree because that pink is awesome. Now this would be the case where it would be very handy to um, have your blobs down first. But if you had your blobs down first, you couldn't just mess it up just like that, right? Oh yes. Well, okay, since we messed it up, let's put a little environment around it. Oh, 
we're going to make a dark sky. Look how cool that is. That's pretty cool. And look how simple. Okay, this does not have to be hard. Do not overthink it. Keep light. Keep loose. Right? We're just having fun. Do not compare your work to other people. Just, uh, you know, enjoy your style. You know, we're, we're creating, we're building on our own styles. And I dig that. Okay, well, just continue on with those. Patreons, you have received these tree doodles. Go through and find the ones that speak to you and then do those for the next two days. And when you feel like you are more advanced, um, then move on to the next thing. Um, you know, since you have the images, you do not have to go along and do exactly what I'm doing. Um, if you do, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. This is all for you. You do whatever makes you happy in your universe, in your world. Right? And you have the capability of doing this. I have faith that every single one of you can make these kind of little fun trees. They're super easy, super simple, and there should be no fear with this. The only way that you are going to fail with this is if you do not try. That's all I got to say about that. The only way you fail is by not trying. Okay, guys, um, that is it for today. So I hope you have a great day. Oops. Sorry if that was out of screen the whole time, but uh, there you go. Okay, so this is day one and two. Take it from the simple and start to make it more complex. Look at the tree doodles, look online for ideas through Pinterest, and uh, you know, just kind of, we'll work on this style coming up next, because this is more on Wednesday. We'll um, work on you know, bringing in some more of these little sticky figures and the structure of the tree. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. We'll chat soon. Bye.